Hi, good morning. Well, we're at Paphos Airport today, so we're going to give you a look around Paphos Airport, show you some of the facilities and uh, where you get things like car hire, the departure lounge, etc. in there. So uh, if you'd like to join us, please do. And uh, hope you enjoy the video. So here we're at uh, stop five for some other car hire companies, Almo, Enterprise National, Green Motion, Arrow Cars, Dollar Thrifty, Whiz Cars, and these are for the off-site car hire companies. Then in the car park over here we have the on-site car hire companies. So Sixt, Avis, Budget, kind of all the usual suspects. So you come straight out of the airport if you're arriving here. If you've hired a car, then just find the uh, car hire company. There are some car hire desks in the terminal. I'll show you those. Electric car charging point. Oh, interesting. Help point if uh, you have mobility issues, you'll find these all over the airport. When you can press a button, and some will come out to you, bring you a wheelchair, whatever you need. Payment system for the car parking. There did used to be a little outside coffee. Well, it's still there, <laughs> coffee shop. There's no tables or chairs outside, so I assume it's closed down. May have reopened, I'm not sure. If you're coming on a package holiday, then with TUI or Jet2, something like that, then the buses tend to line up over there, right in front of the arrivals. So you come out, there'll be loads of reps about, and then uh, jump on the appropriate coach. Taxi ranks outside, of course. Careful when you come out, this is a, uh, a road coming through. So arrivals to the right and departures to the left. Doesn't really matter which uh, area you can come through. Free booked taxis and uh, all your normal suspects. So this is arrivals, people waiting for people coming through arrivals. It's not the world's biggest arrivals hall. So you'll find uh, people waiting to pick up friends and relatives. And again, you can see there some of the car hire names. Budget AV6, Europe Car, Heinz, Hertz, Astra Car, ATMs. Costa Coffee. It smells nice. And where all the big queues are, of course, is departures. We have a Cyprus Airport Express here, you can buy a drink, newspaper. And then over here we've got the departures queuing to drop the bags. As you can see the uh, mobility desk here. And also there's the bus timetable. So pass off Paphos Harbour. 6.12, 6.13 from the market to the airport to Paphos Harbour, 6.12.
So we're going to go through departures and we'll show you at the other side. You're not allowed to film here, I'm afraid. So it is an automated gate system. You just put your boarding pass down and it will open the gate for you. So through there we have baggage search and uh, passport control just in front of us. Relatively quick, five minutes through there. I don't know if you can see over there, there's some machines that take your picture. Uh, they don't seem to bother with them for leaving, but they do on arrival quite often. So it's the uh, automatic scanning machines. Across here we've got one of the duty frees, that's the uh, watch, sunglasses. Duty free express is for your water, drinks, food village, food court. Really studying a passport, Cyprus memories, stuff that you can buy in the supermarkets for half the price. Now on sale in the uh, airport. Okay, the duty free area. I know people often ask how much stuff is. So, so scanning one, two people got you know, for men. 50 millilitres, 62 euros. Perfume, 200 millilitres, 175 euros. Chanel. Sport, 100 millilitres, 92 euros. So I don't know, I'm not really familiar with perfume and aftershave prices. Oh, seems a little bit pricey to me. Bottle of Polo Red is 76 euros. Sounds a lot of money. My cost. You go bottom. 81 euros. Well, I don't know, but I'm thinking it's probably light blue from Dolson Gabbana, 79, 83. You know, to say these are duty free prices right. seem quite expensive. A giant Toblerone 3 for 19.20 or 9 euro 60 each. And they're only 360 grams, so... <laughs> a bag of Skittle. <laughs> 8 euro 25. Buy two bags for 12 euro. It's got to be a bargain. Now, a bucket of Maltesers. 440 grams, 15 25. Clearly these are for people that have never heard of Morrison's, as does... <laughs> Never mind, I'm little of Aldi. <laughs> Jeez. Had about Starmix, probably from Pontefract. Standard UK price, two quid, 9.25 here. <laughs> Bottle of Baileys, generally about a litre, about 12 to 14, 15 pound, 19 euros, 20 here, what's 24 euros? Hmm. Okay. Gin. That seems cheap, 13 euros, duty free. Bacardi, duty free, non EU prices, which of course is UK now, so that's 15 euros. Bottle of Finlandia, 16 euros. Captain's Morgan, Captain Morgan's, 16 euros. Bottle of Ozo, 17. The old Grey Goose, 48 euros. 
cigarettes people ask about cigarettes don't smoke like myself I couldn't bear to look at the bloody packets they're like horror movies jeez lord I haven't seen this packet of cigarettes for years so I didn't realise there were horrific images all over them but duty free price pound mount 32 euros 30 euros super kings 40 euros I assume that is really cheap Lambert and Butler 39 euros these are what packs of 200 so 10 packs of six Benson and Hedges duty free non EU 47 euros Mayfair 38 L&M's 32 again Marlborough 41 euros for 200 tobacco oh no it's a nice image but 10 30 gram pouches for 44 euros so it makes them 4 euros 4 euros 40 a pack so again for roll ups I don't know if that's good or bad they all show the same kind of horrific images on them so I'm feeling a bit ill now I feel a bit giddy I don't know what these are but some kind of smoking implant liquids don't know. fancy cigarette slim oh, these people's eyes all manky you know oh god people in wheelchairs lorda lorda no feeling faint Rizzlers 25 can't be that much for cigarette papers one price for all, 25 euros for a box of Rizzle. Thought they'd banned menthol cigarettes. Anyway, this is the duty free section. So across the other way with the cafes, and then there's the waiting areas. So we have the uh, inside waiting area of course it's a, a no smoking area and then the outside area in the in the heat is a smoking place take a look Friday at that today place. looks like it's all Ryanair flights little amusement arcade for the kids vibration relaxing chairs so we've got the outside Seating area, cafe area, bar area. That later in, and it's a smoking area. So uh, if you smoke, fine. Of course, inside the airport is air conditioned. So you're coming out into a relatively warm area. Plenty of toilets in there. One thing Ryanair do which is a bit annoying is I don't know if you can see Let's see if I can get a better view Ryanair Ryanair have you queuing up outside once the plane's now once the plane's landed but you might be out there for 20 or 30 minutes and that's fine but people are dressed for going back to the UK is very warm so in the height of the summer it's not the best idea I know the mayor's trying to get some kind of covered area for everybody <laughs> so the main toilets down this ginnel area on busy changeover days which in Paphos tend to be Wednesdays and Sundays are the big days. They're the big days for two-way flights and jet, jet two come in most days, but uh, 
again Wednesdays and Sundays are the big days and now we've got the food cart and it's your normal quite pricey airport yeah, one euro 25 for an apple it smells nice there are plenty of uh, information boards Well, again, all the usual suspects. Packet of crisps for two euros. Security area, very quiet. <laughs> Sushi, oh, 10 90 Imagine being sat next to somebody eating raw fish. As long as it's fresh, it supposed to be all right. But photo is indicating mm. there is a premium lounge. And there are some special offers as well. Two bottles for 25 euros. It is wine. And when it's a quiet day like today, the airport is fine. When it's busy, well, it can be hell on earth in here. That's why they try and get people outside waiting for the planes. But not a great idea in my opinion. Costa Coffee in the corner <laughs> and down here to the premium lounge and more toilet blocks. So the uh, premium airport lounge is just here. Rather nice. And one benefit of <laughs> coming down here you can have a look at the security. So again, back search area and the photographing machines. Power charging station for electric power features. So that's our little look around Paphos Airport uh, and our departure lounge. So we've got the way Julie's gone, there she is. <laughs> so anyway, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, we'll catch you on the next vlog. See you later. Cheers. Bye bye. bye, -bye.